It is Tuesday, February 4th, 2016. We welcome you to H.H. Dow High School. It is time for boys high school basketball on MCTV and MPS TV as the Midland High Gimmicks makes a short trip across town to take on the Dow High Chargers. And we welcome you inside the Charger Gymnasium, Jason Harper, alongside my longtime partner, Tom Bell. And Tom, tonight we've got the Gimmicks and the Chargers in their second matchup of this season. Last time around, the Midland High Kimmicks pulled away for a 29-point victory over the Dow High Chargers, but that was over a month ago. Now we're into January, we're into the heart of the Saginaw Valley basketball season, and we've got two teams looking for a win. And these, these teams are, are both uh, blessed with a lot of size, and they, they've, they've got point, uh, each have a point guard that can move the ball, and they've got some stars to put the ball in the basket. Absolutely. The Midland High Kimmicks coming into this game with an 8-4 and four record. They are 7-3 and three in the Saginaw Valley under head coach Eric Krause. They are coming off a tough loss against Saginaw Arthur Hill. On the other side of the coin, the Dow High Chargers coming into this game with a 2-10 and 10 record. The Chargers are 0-9 in the Saginaw Valley, but Dow High coming off a win against Bay City Central this past Tuesday, giving some much-needed momentum to the Dow High Chargers. And I'm sure the Chargers believe that there's no place like home and they're here with a lot of fans and re ready to see what they can do against a, the visiting uh, Midland Chemics. So we are set to go. The Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers Saginaw Valley League Basketball on MPS TV and right now we will turn things over to our public address announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dow High School for the Battle of Midland. On behalf of Dow High Principal Pam Castle, we'd like to welcome you to the Saginaw Valley League Boys varsity basketball matchup between the Chemics of Midland High and your H.H. -H Dow Charger. Yeah. At this time, we ask that you all rise. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. As we honor America and the troops proudly serving around the world with the playing of our national anthem. Get on your feet! It's time to meet the Dow High 
The coaches shaking hands at midcourt, and we are set to go with high school basketball here on MCTV and MPS Television. First of two great games this weekend here on MPS Television. Of course, the uh, the boys and the girls both in action this weekend. At the boys contest about to get underway. The Dow High Chargers wearing their home white uniforms. The Midland High Chemics and they're visiting blue. And Tom, your keys to tonight's game. Well, I think for Dow High, they've really got to get uh, Mike Robb into uh, the scoring flow of the game. I think he is the real scoring star for Dow High. Uh, for Midland High, uh, Peyton DeWilt has to get himself uh, loose for not only uh, offensively, but uh, get getting his inside players the ball and uh, just punish Dow on the inside part of the, of the, uh, the scoring area. The Dow High Chargers win the tip-off for the Chargers. Trevor Davis, their junior point guard, working the basketball. Davis is the leader of this Dow High Charger basketball team. Mike Robb now working the ball, working back to Davis. Dow High working inside, tried to go to Logan Daniels, the junior, and we're going to have a jump ball that is called. So possession arrow goes back to Midland High. Well, we, on the very first possession, we saw Midland High going into a man-to-man, -man, and I think Midland thinks that they may have just more athletes than Dow at this point. Martin Money now works it inside. Matt Jarima is going to be blocked. Mike Robb showing all of his six-foot, six frame, and Robb coming up with a big block for the Dow High Chargers. Now Zach Chichester from the baseline. That shot is no good. Virgil Walker will get the rebound. Midland High moving around to Martin Money. Now they work it to Peyton D. Wilt. Three-pointer hits the front of the rim. Rebound by Jarima. Putback is no good. We are still scoreless. 60 seconds into this contest. We're looking at a very physical game, I think. Uh, both teams have come out of the gates uh, very aggressively. And it's early, but they are letting them play. Right now... Dow High's Chichester working the ball back over to Logan Daniels, another junior. The Dow High Chargers, Trevor Davis, Mike Robb, Zach Chichester, Logan Daniels, and Kevin Murray, the starting five. Shot taken there is no good. Virgil Walker, he's got a couple of rebounds already in the first 90 seconds of this contest. Peyton D. Wilt, the leading scorer for the Midland High Chemex, works over to Virgil Walker. Now to Garrett Willis. Willis, just a sophomore, had the ball knocked away, but he recovers. He wrote inside of Jerima, who was open. Now they work it back to Walker. Walker double team feeds it over to Jerima. And we're going to have a travel call on Jerima. And we are still scoreless almost two minutes into this contest. Well, Midland High has been able to get the ball in the paint uh, quite easily on Dow. Just Dow has been really tough defensively there. Midland High showing a press against the Dow High Chargers. Trevor Davis having difficult getting the ball over, and he does. Davis beating the double teaming. He gets the ball back into the paint. And the first basket of the game, Trevor Davis scoring for the Chargers. Dow High up 2-0, 5.45 to go here in the first quarter. This is what Mark Dickerson wanted to see. The Chargers playing very well. And again, a nice defensive move. Mike Robb blocking it away again. Now Zach Chichester and a lot of contact made. And a blocking foul is going to be called against Midland. And Tom, did you say it's physical? <laughs> yeah, very definitely. That was really a, a hard call for the ref, ref to make. He must have thought that Money was drifting just a little bit. So I thought Money uh, was sizing that drive uh, long before Chichester got there but Zach Chichester will go on the free throw line he is a sophomore Midland High is going to bring Jordan Patty into the game for the first time he's a junior Chichester adds a little bit of an inside threat he and Rob make up the size on this Dow High Charger team and Chichester making both of his free throws <clears throat> Dow High leading four to nothing five and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter Walker Works it over to Patty. Patty feeds it into a very clustered paint area. And a shot taken by Garrett Willis will draw the foul. So Willis will go to the free throw line. Uh, one of the things that occurs when you have a very aggressive defense uh, is that you're going to draw fouls and you're going to have to rely on, on the depth of your bench eventually. Uh, right now uh, we've got the fouls fairly spread out, but it's still very early. Willis hits the first free throw. He's a sophomore. We had... 
the sophomore down for Dow High shooting, and now the sophomore for Midland. Willis adds a little bit of an outside threat to his shooting, and he makes both of his free throws. The first two points for Midland High. It is 4-2 in favor of Dow. 5.20 to go in the first quarter. Kimmick still showing the press, but they're going to back up a little bit as Trevor Davis moves it across midcourt. Davis on the left side being guarded by Money. Bounce pass inside to Mike Robb. Robb will work it back over to Logan Daniels. Daniels goes baseline. Now feeds it inside. Shot taken by Robb is no good. Virgil Walker, another rebound. He's got three of them in the early going. Feed it inside. Willis has the ball stripped away. Nice job defensively by Kevin Murray. Dow High playing great defense here early on in the first quarter. Very inspired defense for a team that has really struggled to find too many wins so far, but they're looking pretty good right now. Mark Dickerson has worked and tweaked the lineup all season long. This five seemed to be gelling early. Dow High to Logan Daniels. Daniels came off the bench in the last game against Midland High, played very well, earned himself a starting position late in the season. Daniels, great spin move. Count the bucket, do it all by himself. Logan Daniels with the bucket. Midland High, Lee, or Midland High, I thought Eric Krause was going to call a timeout instead. Actually, I'm not sure what the stoppage was for. No timeout was called, but the official stopping the game, letting everybody tie their shoes. So <laughs> here we go, 6-2, to two, Dow High leading by 4, 4.15 to go in the first quarter. With the noise of the gym, maybe they got the buzzer from the, the scorer bench and it, it kind of stopped things for a bit. It is very loud in the first on fourth turnover of the contest, the Midland High Kimmick turning the ball over. And Midland High again showing a bit of a press. The Dow High Chargers underdogs in this contest, but they're leading by four early on. Trevor Davis working over to Derek Cushman, who has checked into the game. Now Kevin Murray in the paint. Can't get the shot to go. Garrett Willis will get the rebound for Midland. Kimmick moving ahead over to Peyton D. Wilt. D. Wilt works it back to Willis. Now over to Jordan Patty in the corner. Feed it back over to Willis. Willis gives it to Patty. Back to Willis. Going into the paint and a travel call is going to be called. It is loud here in Dow High. It is. You know, uh, Mid Midland High only has two points. And uh, when their top scorer has only taken one shot, uh, you know, you're looking at a team that's uh, really not moving the ball a lot. Uh, they're getting the ball down underneath and then uh, selling out to an aggressive shot that has been highly contested. Dow High working across the midcourt. Another nice pass inside of Mike Robb, but he can't get the layup to go. Midland High has controlled the rebounding. Now Jordan Patty is stolen away by Robb. Working ahead now to Trevor Davis. Davis with the ball and the Chargers with the four-point lead. Dow High's Kyle Banal who have checked into the game. Again, the Chargers working inside, and that time nobody was there, and it's going to be last touched by Midland. Peyton D. Peyton D. Will tried to plead his case, <laughs> but I think it was last touched by Midland. The Kimmicks are going to have a substitution. Yeah, in high school they don't have tape review, so uh, you have to go by what the referees uh, call. Vince Walker checks into the game, wearing number 33 for Midland. He was listed in our roster of number 25, but we'll make the change. 2.57 to go, first quarter, Dow High 6, Midland High 2. The only basket the Kimmicks have scored have been off of free throws. Midland High working to Martin Money. Now they feed it inside as Cam Wing feeds to Virgil Walker, and Walker will go to the free throw line for the Kimmich. Now Walker's very athletic down there on the block, and I think uh, he and uh, Rob were kind of playing cat and mouse there for a bit with the fakes, and uh, he's gotten Rob for, well, I guess that that's just his first foul of the game, but uh, Walker's very skilled down there on the block. Six foot five, Virgil Walker. First missed free throw of the contest. Walker had a great game the last time these two teams met. 
He's one of those individuals. He can go left. He can go right. He's got great mobility. Sees the basketball court very well. And he hits the second free throw to cut the deficit in half. But everything that Midland has scored has been from the free throw line. Dow high six, Midland high three. Two and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Dow high, long three-pointer. Zach Chichester no good. Virgil Walker, another rebound. Walker, bounce pass to Peyton D. Wilt. Dow high has played great defense on the perimeter. Great defense overall. Cam Wing now feeds it to D. Wilt. Long three-pointer, in and out, no good. Walker with the rebound. Putback is going to draw the foul. And Walker will return to the free throw line. Is that on Chichester? Yeah, 25, I believe it was. I believe. Chichester picking up his second foul for the first Dow High player to get into a little bit of foul trouble. Here's Chichester who has two of the Dow High three fouls. Walker missing the free throw. Dow High will bring Michael Bruto into the game. He is a senior on this Dow High team. Midland will bring Josh Henschel back into the game. Another senior coming off the bench. Virgil Walker getting set for the second free throw. And that one falls through as well. So Walker, two of four from the free throw line. It's a two-point game. Dow High six, Midland High four. Two minutes to go, and now we've got another whistle as Dow High tries to come down court, and it's going to be Vince Walker that will be called for the foul. Vince that, is the younger of the Walkers. That was a pretty easy call by, by the referee. Uh, everything was right in front of him, and he was just trying to wedge the ball away from the ball handler. You can't do that. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Mike Robb working for the Chargers to Logan Daniels. Daniels, a couple of dribbles over to Trevor Davis, and we're going to have an illegal screen call. No, we're going to have a foul called against Tenchel. Interesting. Josh Henschel will pick up his first foul, the third one against the Midland High Chemics. Yeah, I think I would have leaned towards the uh, illegal screen myself too, but uh, we're not wearing stripes. No, we are not. There's a lot of action in basketball. I don't want to be wearing stripes. I'm comfortable up here. At least when we're not wearing stripes, you can <laughs> see, right? <laughs> Mike Crabb <laughs> working the ball for the uh, Dow High Chargers. All kinds of contact, but no whistle, and Tre Trevor Davis looks to take advantage of it. Virgil Walker had the block, but the foul's gonna come on Martin Money, not on Walker. Walker had a beautiful block, but Money ended up making contact with Davis before the block, and that was what the foul was called, so Trevor Davis will go to the free throw line. Davis coming off a game against Bay City Central. Trevor Davis had 19 points in Dow High's win last Tuesday. But Davis misses on the free throw line. Davis is just a junior, but he has taken over as the on-floor leader of this Charger basketball team. Plays with a lot of, a lot of confidence. And he misses both of his free throws. It remains 6-4 to four in favor of the Chargers, although Dow has gone on a scoring drought the last three minutes of this game. Henschel with the ball goes inside to Vince Walker. Vince, couple of dribbles to Peyton DeWilt. DeWilt being triple teamed, has to pull the basketball out. Midland will set things up again. Henschel back to DeWilt, under a minute to go here in the first quarter. DeWilt works it over to Vince. Vince fights through two of the Chargers, but he travels. Dow High's defense has been exceptional in the first quarter. Really have. They've been collapsing as Midland High has driven the ball into the middle. And uh, as of right now, with 52 seconds to go, Midland High does not have a field goal in this game. Garrett Willis checks back in. Kimmix continuing to press as Dow High's Kyle Bunnell brings the ball across midcourt. 45 seconds to go. Logan Daniels. With the basketball now for the Chargers. Daniels goes into the paint, pulls up, and works it over to Michael Brudo. Brudo, baseline, no place to go. Back to Davis. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Davis with a couple of dribbles will now pull things out. The Chargers will look to set up for the final shot of the quarter. 
Clock is down to 20 seconds, plenty of time. Davis goes in motion over to his left. Now works to Benell, top of the key. Ball deflected, but Dow recovers. Clock down to 10 seconds. Mike Robb at the top of the key with the basketball. Clock down to six, and Midland coming up with a steal. Peyton D. Well working it, and a foul is going to be called. A good foul by Davis. And Midland will have three seconds to try to get a field goal here in the first quarter. Well, they, they've got to score one in a real hurry or they're going to be shut out from the field. Smart foul by Davis. They work inside. He'll count if it goes, but it doesn't because Mike Robb underneath to come up with a big block for the Dow High Chargers in the first quarter coming to an end. And a lot of surprised people inside the Charger gymnasium after the first eight minutes of this game, it is Dow High 6, Midland High 4. High school basketball on MCTV and NPS television. If you're just tuning in and want to watch this contest in its entirety, it will be shown the following times on MCTV, channel 189 on Charter, and also available on channel 99 on AT&T U-verse. Showtimes will be tonight, Thursday, February 4th at 11 o'clock, and then Saturday and Sunday, February 6th and 7th, showtimes at 8 o'clock in the morning and 8 o'clock at night. And then the following week, the action will move to MPS Television, Channel 190. For more information, head online to the MCTV website, cityofmidlandmi.gov slash MCTV. And there you see Mark Dickerson, the second-year coach, talking to the Dow High Chargers, and he has got to be pleased with what he has seen here in the first quarter. And he's got, he's really pleased defensively. Uh, Midland really looks disjointed. They're really not flowing with anything. And I think that uh, they've kind of uh, been surprised by how well Dow has done defensively. Uh, Rob has played uh, really tough down underneath the basket. He's either changed shots or blocked shots uh, throughout the entire first quarter. And Midland was 0 for whatever in the first quarter from the field. Their only points were from the free throw line. Well, if you go by the old, old saying, the offense scores points, but defense wins the games. Right now, that's the story because Dow High's defense has been exceptional. And now we're going to have a foul called. I believe it's going to be on Matt Jarima, who led with his forearm trying to get by his defender. That is the fifth foul on Midland High, the first one on Jerima. Matt Jerima had a great game the last time these two teams played. But he has been held in check through the first eight minutes of this contest. Mike Robb working the ball double team, so he finds Kyle Bennell. Bennell is only five foot five, but he does a great job handling the ball. Mike Robb, couple of dribbles, back to Mike Brudo. Bruto being guarded by Jerima. Picks up the dribble, goes inside to Rob. Rob on the baseline, but works it back out. Kyle Bunnell, three-pointer, no good. Josh Henschel will get the rebound for Midland. Ahead to Jerima, but too far ahead. And another on-force turnover. And you said that Midland kind of looked a little out of sorts. What, does, what do the Kimmicks have to do to regain their composure? I think they, they just have to relax a bit. Uh, I think they're trying to push the ball a little too soon in the, in the possession. They've got to work the ball around. Uh, maybe a couple of extra passes will, will change the complexion of the game. I was looking down at, uh, at uh, Coach Kraus, and he's just putting his hands down going, calm down, calm down, just take the game as it comes. They're trying to force, force the issue right now. They're only down by two points, but uh, they're just not playing with much of a flow yet. Now they're coming off a tough loss against Arthur Hill. Three-pointer by Garrett Willis, and that will change the story because for the first time, the Midland High Kimmicks have the lead thanks to that three-pointer, and then Davis steps on the line. That doesn't happen at home very often, but Trevor Davis lost track of where he was, so the Kimmicks will have a chance to increase their lead. Right now, Midland's on top seven to six with six and a half to go here in the second quarter. Sometimes all it takes is one key shot to change things around. Yeah, and Midland was able to keep close without much on the offense. Virgil Walker, and they're gonna call the block. And that foul on Mike Robb is going to be Robb's second foul, so two different chargers 
Both Chichester and Rob, the two tallest players for Dow High, both in early foul trouble. Chargers will bring Logan Daniels back into the game. And Coach Dickerson is going to have to go with Rob. No, oh, okay, it looks like uh, Rob is going to have a seat for a little bit. Yeah, Brock Simpson will check in. He's another player with size. Simpson is six foot four. Comes into the game. Inbound pass by DeWilt, and Simpson was caught flat-footed. Peyton DeWilt takes advantage of it, and Midland High now with a three-point lead. Josh Henschel with a steal, but a big block underneath by Michael Brudo. And a whistle called and a foul, maybe a little frustration foul called that time around. This game started off very physical, and it's still a pretty physical game down there, but right now Dow's in the bonus, and Midland's one foul away from being in the same position. That last foul, by the way, on Matt Jarima is the second one on Jarima. He's now in foul trouble. Another turnover, three in a row by the Dow High Chargers who played great in the first quarter, but now Dow High beginning to unravel. Henschel has the ball knocked away, out of bounds. It will stay Midland basketball. Well, and it's funny how Dow really felt like they were in control, and it looked that way till Willis hit that shot. And then all of a sudden you got a feeling that uh, body, body language uh, changed, and Dow is the one that's been trying to force things. How quickly momentum can play a factor and change what's oh, happening on a basketball court. It, it really court. can. Henschel works over to DeWilt, three-pointer, count it. Peyton DeWilt fires the three-pointer, biggest lead now, and another steal by the Midland High Chemex. Virgil Walker comes away with the basketball underneath, and we're going to have a jump ball called as the teams are battling in the paint, but there have been four turnovers in a row by the Dow High Chargers and Mark Dickerson is going to call a 30 second timeout to try to get the Chargers back in control of this game because right now Midland High leading by six with five and a half minutes to go but it's like a, a tale of a different story four on four four turnovers in a row yeah it uh, the, the the body language has really changed and I think that, that Dow had a lot of hope for the beginning of the game. All of a sudden, the game is really reversed. Now, I, I have a lot of respect for the, the referees, but I'm not quite sure. We had all three referees watching the jump ball. We had Coach Krause over here trying to call a timeout, and every referee had, had their back to him. But he was bailed out because Mark Dickerson called the timeout. It saved a time, timeout for Midland High. Now the Kimmicks will inbound underneath their own basket. Midland High has taken over thanks to a couple of three-pointers here in the second quarter. Garrett Willis over to DeWilt inside of Walker. Back to Willis, another three-pointer. This one no good. It falls short. DeWilt doing a great job saving that ball. D and the ball knocked out of bounds. It will stay Midland basketball. That was a great save by DeWilt. Uh, whereas in the first, at the end of the first quarter, we mentioned that Midland looked out of sorts. Now Midland looks like they've been, you know, playing great basketball. They they flip flopped in a matter of two minutes. Well, I think when Midland was able to kind of settle down and hit a long shot, Dow started to feel some doubt, and that changes how, how you play. On the baseline, partially blocked by Dow High on the floor again. And a jump ball is going to be called. And, a, oh, well, well, little tempers are flaring now between Virgil Walker and Kayla Brudo. Brudo had a great job coming up with the, uh, with the block shot. And then Brudo and Walker ended up on the floor. And the officials are going to bring these players together and uh, work, uh, work things out, get a little bit of, uh, of uh, peace involved between these two because Walker and Brudo getting very physical. They're, they're not going to shake hands yet, though. Uh, no, no. I think they uh, basically just showed some mutual respect and we're moving on. Midland High leading by six points under five minutes to go here in the second quarter. The first three minutes of the second quarter, Midland High has taken control of this contest. The Kimmicks coming off a loss against Arthur Hill, a game 
that they led for the majority of the contest, and then uh, things kind of fell apart at the end of that contest. Yeah, uh, Coach Krause thought that they had a, a real chance of, of upsetting uh, Arthur Hill, and both Arthur Hill and Saginaw are kind of uh, towards the top of the, uh, the league, and uh, Krause thinks that Midland High should be there too, but they didn't look like in the first quarter, but we're starting to see what Krause was thinking here and watching his Chemex play in the second quarter. Defense has picked up considerably for Midland High. The Chargers have not had a chance to set up their offense in the second quarter. Three-pointer by Cam Wen was no good. Walker had the rebound, works back out to Jordan Patty. Patty hands off to Josh Henschel. A new lineup, different lineup in for Midland High. Walker, great hesitation, and Walker goes up for the bucket for the Chemex. Four points for Walker, Midland High 14, Dow High 6, halfway through the second quarter. Charger, first time they've got a shot off in the second quarter, and Trevor Davis hitting a three-pointer. Davis has got five points on the game, a little more spark for the Dow High Chargers. It is now 14 to 9, 3.45 to play. Baseline jump shot counted, two point shot for Garrett Willis. Now the team starting to trade buckets. It is 16 to 9 in favor of Midland, 3.30 to go. Into the paint, nice move and a nice bucket there for Logan Daniels. The junior <coughs> has got four points. Back and forth we go. It is. A five-point game in favor of Midland High. This game is loosened up. Patty, three-pointer, no good. Walker will be called for a foul if he tried to rebound the basketball. Virgil Walker playing with a lot of emotion, maybe too much emotion. Eric Krause may want to keep an eye on that, he does, because Vince Walker is going to come in. That's a smart move. I, I think it is. I, I think uh, you, you don't want him to, uh, to catch a, uh, another foul real quick. It's going to be a one-and-one one situation. The foul will only the first one on Virgil, but it will send Caleb Bruto to the free throw line. Caleb is the younger of the Brudos on the Dow High Charger basketball team. He's a 6'7 junior. And he misses the first half of the one-and-one. One. Garrett Willis with the rebound. Peyton DeWilt back into the game for Midland. DeWilt thought about the three. Now to Patty. He'll fire. That three-pointer is no good. Out of bounds. It will stay Midland High basketball. Now this game offensively was really kind of chugging along. And all of a sudden it just got wide open. We were getting baskets both ways for a short time, and uh, we're looking at uh, Midland High is just up by five right now. Mike Robb has checked back into the game for the Dow High Chargers. Vince Walker with the basketball. Now they go inside of D. Wilt. Bruto almost knocked it away. No place to go for D. Wilt, so he backs up, makes the shot, doesn't go. Vince Walker, great rebound. Now Cam Wing with a three-pointer, no good. D. Wilt with the rebound. That putback is no good, and finally, Bruto will bring it down for the Chargers. Midland High has done a great job controlling the rebounding. And a great move by Mike Robb. Lay it in. Welcome back to the floor. Mike Robb, his first basket of the game. It's a three-point contest. Midland 16, Dow 13, 2.15 to go in the half. That was a great drive by Robb. A, a fake and... Uh, you know, a head fake at the end that uh, drew the middle player off of him and uh, just uh, fingertip roll. Davis is going to be called for the foul, and I really like the fact that Trevor Davis was called for a, for a hold on that play, and as soon as the referee blew his whistle, Davis kind of old school. He raised his hand and said, yeah, that, that was me. That, that shows maturity <laughs> for, for a ball player. You know, back in the day, that used to be common. Now, very rarely do players admit, yeah, that, that's my foul. So, props to Davis for that. Inside, Vince Walker was left open, beat the coverage. Walker with his first basket of the contest. 18 to 13, Midland High leads, two minutes to go. Wide open, Mike Robb. Vince Walker tried to come over, couldn't do it. And Robb has got four points, back to a three-point game. 
Martin Money to Peyton DeWelt. Back to Money. DeWelt. Basketball at the top of the key. Goes inside of Virgil Walker. Loses his balance, and we're going to have a travel call. Walker thought he was fouled. The officials calling the travel. I didn't think Walker had the ball long enough to travel, but it's all over to the, the Chargers. Trevor Davis being double teamed, and he stepped on the line. That's twice that we have seen Davis step out of bounds. Well, one was in the backcourt. Uh, he just wasn't looking, and uh, he just made poor judgment trying to find a spot up the sideline that time. Peyton DeWilt on the far side with the basketball. Now Cam Wing. Bounce pass goes right through the Chargers, and Martin Money can't get the bucket to fall. Rebound pulled down by Mike Robb. Trevor Davis with the basketball now for the Chargers. Davis, long three-pointer, count it. Trevor Davis hitting the three. He has got eight points for the Dow High Chargers. We are all tied up, 18 to 18, under a minute to go in the second quarter. The Chargers have regained their composure. Peyton DeWilt, three-pointer, no good, but Vince Walker there for the rebound, and Vince has got four points. Kimmich leading by two, 39 seconds to go. Davis is going to call a timeout. Trevor Davis was double teamed, had no help coming his way, and Davis calls a timeout. Great, great smart ball playing by Davis, and the timeout will look to set up the final shot for the Dow High Chargers as we take a look at Eric Kraus and the Midland High Kimmich. Well, I think Midland is starting to get a little better feel on how to corral Davis. And uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, Davis just wanted his teammates to just move away. He would break pressure. Now I think he might uh, I think twice about that. I think Mark Dickerson is going to try to set up the press break uh, to get more players in on uh, breaking pressure on that because uh, Midland is starting to snuff the air out of the backcourt. Now, this has been a... Uh very entertaining, if not somewhat surprising, first half of basketball. It has been. I mean, uh, we've got ourselves uh, really ag some aggressive play, good offense. Uh, yeah, we're, we're setting up more of, a, of Dow, an offensive uh, break. Dow High beating the press, and Mike Robb will be fouled in the paint. Robb will go to the free throw line for the Dow High Chargers. The foul called on... Vince Walker is going to be his second. Mike Robb, six foot six senior for the Dow High Chargers. Gets the free throw to fall, and, and it was announced earlier this week that Robb will be playing football as a Laker over in Allendale come the fall season. <laughs> Robb hitting both of the free throws. We're tied again, 20 to 20. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. Midland will set up for the final shot of the half. Peyton DeWilt with the basketball for Midland High. Clock down to 10 seconds. DeWilt takes the screen, but Chichester was able to beat it. Inside, and it's stolen away. Rob comes up with a steal, but he traveled. Okay, okay, we're now down to 2.7. Not a lot of plays uh, for 2.7. That's still lots of time. You can inbound the ball. And heave pass. it. <laughs> yeah, you got more time than that. You can pass at least once. Yeah. But Midland High, they put the ball down to start the five-second count because Midland wasn't ready. But now D. Welt fires in. And see, if you ask Midland High, that's plenty of time. Peyton D. Welt. Puts the basket in, and we go into halftime with the Midland High Chemex leading by two, 22 to 20 over the Dow High Chargers in a great first half of basketball here in the Saginaw Valley. Two teams playing for a win. That was fun to watch. It was, you know, and starting the game, we really were not sure what we were going to see. Uh, we certainly were going to see a spirited Dow, Dow team because they had uh, been handled pretty easily earlier in the season, but uh, both teams played very aggressively. We have reached halftime here at Dow High. The fans uh, get their 
chance to chew on some popcorn and enjoy the halftime show. We're going to take a quick timeout, and when we come back, it'll be time for the third quarter of basketball here at Dow High. At the half, it's the Midland High Chemics 22, the Dow High Chargers 20. And just like that, we are back as we welcome you to Dow High School getting ready for the second half of what has been a great Saginaw Valley League basketball game. Midland High leading by two points here at Dow High. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell and a, a great crew of MCTV staff and volunteers all on hand for this contest. Jim and Nina working the camera. Dennis on audio. We've got Billy and Matt calling all the shots and here we go with the uh, third quarter between these two teams. And, uh, Tom, we had a chance to uh, recollect our thoughts a little bit, as the, uh, the coaches and the players did as well. Your thoughts and observations from the first half. Well, you know, Ed, after it's all said and done, you look at the whole piece and you see ebb and flow. You got uh, Dow High and Midland High both playing very, very aggressively. Dow offensively was uh, a little stronger in the first quarter. Then all of a sudden, things kind of loosened up in the second quarter. And we ended up with a lot of points in a short period of time. Uh, for Midland High, the two uh, scoring leaders are Garrett Willis with seven and uh, Peyton DeWilt with seven. DeWilt didn't have anything in the first quarter. Really only had one. He had two shots. One was blocked at the buzzer. But he wasn't part of the offense at all in the first quarter, but the second quarter, he got much more involved. And uh, Midland High really started to take off but faded towards the end of that quarter. A quick whistle as Dow High a little too aggressive out of the gate. Kevin Murray is going to be called for the foul. Leading scorer overall was Trevor Davis for Dow High. He finished the half with eight points. Murray picks up his first foul, and the inbound pass goes to Jerima, who was very quiet in the first half of this basketball game. Peyton DeWilt working the basketball for Midland. DeWilt, Willis on the floor along with Money, Walker, and Jerima for the Midland High Chemics. DeWilt, three-pointers off the mark. Davis will get the rebound. Davis, outlet to Chichester. Chichester, three-pointer, count it. Zach Chichester. The sophomore with five points. He scored the first basket of the game. He scored the first basket of the second half. But Garrett Willis answering the call for the Midland High Chemics. Willis is in double digits. Ten points now for Willis. Midland High ahead 25-23. to 23 And what has been a back and forth game. Dow controlled the first quarter. Midland came back strong in the second quarter. And now DeWilt coming away with the steal. DeWilt. Lays it in. A nice move by Peyton DeWelt. The steal and the basket. DeWelt has got nine points for Midland. Midland high 27. Dow high 23. We played just over a minute here in the third quarter. Chichester works to Davis. Long three-pointer. Count it. Trevor Davis showing some range. Long three-pointer. Davis has got 11 points. For the Chargers, it's a one-point contest. Midland 27, Dow 26. Inside to Walker, working over to Willis. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Davis. Davis outletting it to Robb, who lays it in. Great vision by Davis. Mike Robb with a bucket, eight points for Robb. And the Chargers have regained the lead since the first time in the first quarter. It is 28-27 Dow. Another steal. Davis with the ball for the Chargers. Dow High playing very quick pace. Davis loses it underneath. Out of bounds, Midland basketball. Yeah, Davis did a lot and just tried to do a little too much run at the end. And our, he just uh, didn't find anybody open on that pass. But uh, Dow has really caught fire here. And uh, they seem to be really enthused as to uh, their prospects uh, right here. Talk about, uh, you know, catching breath. I think the players caught their <laughs> breath at halftime because they are going full throttle. Garrett Willis, three-pointer is no good. Rebound by Logan Daniels. Dow High leading by one. Chargers came into this game as huge underdogs. I think everybody knew that, but Dow High, they have played very competitive. 
Martin Money looking to go coast to coast. Give it to Virgil Walker. Great pass by Money and Walker able to lay it in. Six <coughs> points now for Walker. Midland High back with the lead. 29-28 Midland. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. That was a nice assist by Money. He knew he had Walker on his left side and fed him beautifully. Chichester, three-pointer, no good. Jarima will get the rebound for Midland. Ahead to DeWilt, goes into the paint, works it back out. Peyton DeWilt, three-pointer, no good. Rebound down high, Mike Robb will pull down the board for the Chargers. Chichester to Davis, another long three-pointer, count it. Trevor Davis shooting from NBA range. Davis with a three-pointer, 14 points for Davis. Dow High leading by two, 31-29 Chargers. Garrett Willis tried to end for the call. Willis has went cold from the three-point line. Peyton D. Welch scrambles and gets the rebound for Midland. A nice recovery by DeWilt. He just wanted it more. Inside, shot does not fall in the rebound by Kevin Murray. Dow High is going to slow the pace down at least slightly. Davis was feeling it, but misses the three-pointer, and DeWilt all by himself, and DeWilt gets fouled hard. Unintentionally hard, and Peyton DeWilt, they're gonna, I think they're going to say maybe on the floor. Davis picking up the foul. He's now has three fouls, so Davis becomes the first player to get into foul trouble. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was tripped or just uh, nudged, but uh, ended up on the floor regardless. Kyle Bunnell and checks in. Josh Henschel and Vince Walker checking in for Midland. It's been a fast-paced third quarter. Now high with a two-point lead. Vince Walker with the basketball. Now to Martin Money. Over to Peyton DeWilt. DeWilt back to Money to Josh Henschel. Henschel goes to Money. Midland High feeds it inside to Virgil Walker. Can't get the shot to go. Mike Robb will pull down the rebound, but he pulled it down. Robb comes away, or Walker comes away with it. The jump ball called. The Dow High fans don't like it. I'm not sure why. That was no doubt a jump ball and a great play. Well, a great play by Walker to grab a hold of that yeah. basketball. Yeah, the rebound initially was Robs, but uh, Walker was real aggressive with that. And Henschel nearly came up with the steal. These teams are playing very evenly right now, and I don't think that that was the... Uh, uh, the guess of the average fan that was going to come into the gym tonight. We had a whistle, but I'm not exactly sure why. So play will continue. Davis goes across midcourt. Davis feeds the ball to Kevin Murray. Goes back to Davis. Now to Zach Chichester. Chichester, a couple of dribbles into the paint. Tries to find Davis in the corner, but the pass was behind. Davis tried to save it, and Almost a great save by Kevin Murray, but the ball ends up go, going out of bounds. You know, the thing I like about a game like this is that you can tell it means a lot to both teams because you see them on the floor. Oh, this is fun. This is great basketball. Dow High leading 31-29. to 2.52 to go in the third quarter. And don't forget the girls' basketball game will be airing this weekend as well on MCTV. Josh Henschel, three-pointer, no good. Battle for the rebound. Trevor Davis will get it. Davis feeds it over to Murray. Murray to Chichester. Zach Chichester to Kevin Burdell. Three-pointer, count it. The senior with his first basket of the game. Kyle Bunnell hits the three-pointer. Dow High 34, Midland 29, 2.15 to play here in the third. Henschel feeds the money, into the paint, no good. Walker, rebound, count it. Virgil Walker with the basket for Midland High. Virgil's got eight points. Mike Robb left open. He's caught a lot of passes when he's wide open like that. He caught another one there. 
from the corner. Davis, too hard. Rob, rebound. Rob will be fouled. Great physical basketball being played between these teams. Mike Robb will go to the free throw line for the Chargers. And that, that's a sign of the senior. He got the ball in, uh, in a lot of congestion, tried to bully the ball up to the basket, knew he was going to get fouled, get, got two free throws. Sub coming into the game. Caleb Bruto will enter for the Chargers. Garrett Willis comes in and Cam Wing also coming in for Midland. Second free throw coming up for Rob. Finds the back of the basket. Dow High leads by four, 35-31. 1.45 to go here in the third quarter. Walker tried to throw the ball to the side. It will stolen away, but then Garrett Willis will steal it right back. Willis with the bucket for the Kemet. 12 for Willis. Two-point game. Dow High with the lead. Davis with the basketball. Davis being guarded by Henschel, and we're going to have a foul call. Henschel trying to plead his case, but looked like a foul, felt like a foul. Yeah, I, I think uh, pretty active hands there. But now traveled. He doesn't think so. I thought so. The officials yeah. thought so. He, he looks pretty quick afoot, and I think that uh, his feet were moving a little too quickly. That's how I run. It takes a while. Sometimes you know, your feet move before your body moves. <laughs> you ever see me try to run, Tom? Um, it's, like, it's like Fred Flintstone trying to get going. I think I have. <laughs> it's not a pretty vision. <laughs> One minute to go here in the third quarter. Back and forth basketball game here in the Saginaw Valley. Chargers looking for an upset win here at the beginning of February. Right now, Chichester works over to Trevor Davis, and Dow High is going to set up for the final play. 40 seconds to go. Chichester has the basketball for the Chargers. Tried to pass it, but Henschel was in the way. Davis making the save and then fires it off of Henschel to set up the play. But they're going to... So 35 seconds yep. to go here in the third quarter. Well, I'm not so sure Davis had to do that, but uh, it may give Dow a chance to really set up a play right here with uh, the end of the third quarter uh, pretty eminent. Mike Robb with the basketball, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Chichester at the top of the key for the Chargers. Chichester, long three-pointer, count it. No need to wait for the clock to run down. Zach Chichester hits the big time three. He's got eight points. Dow High has their biggest lead of the game. 38-33 Dow. Chichester's a, a hard matchup being there at the top of the key at 6-5. Final seconds. And they find Garrett Willis underneath, but Willis can't get the bucket to go. And the third quarter will come to an end here tonight. And we have got eight minutes of high school basketball left to be played here on MCTV. And we have got ourselves a ball game. It is Dow High 38, Midland High 33. And while the teams catch their breath, we will let you know that this game is being produced by MCTV staff and volunteers. And you're invited to take the training at MCTV and work on sports productions such as this one. The next orientation will be on Saturday, February 13th or Saturday, March 12th. The orientation begins at 10 o'clock in the MCTV studio, which is located in the basement of the Grace A. Dow Library. The cost is $45.00 which includes your first year access user fee. For more information, call MCTV 837-3474. Find out all the details. You can also check us out on Facebook or find us online. Become an MCTV volunteer February 13th or March the 12th. And we've got a great crew 
here tonight. Dennis, Nina, and Jim all volunteering their time. Billy and Matt from the MCTV staff working hard as always. And Tom, you and I have done this for many a year. And we are watching a great basketball game tonight. We are. I mean, this is uh, one of the, uh, the more balanced uh, Midland Dow games we've seen in a lot of years. Dow High leading. Midland High has the basketball. Martin Money thought about taking the shot. Money's been relatively quiet for Midland High. Now Peyton DeWolf goes back to Money. Money to Henschel. Henschel back to Money. This time Money will fire it up. No good. Willis with the rebound and the putback. Garrett Willis having a terrific game for the Kimmich. He's got 14 points. Dow High leads by three. Charger feeding the press. Davis with a great move. And a foul is going to be called that will put Davis on the free throw line. You know, the first quarter was such a defensive battle. Things have really kind of opened up. We only have five total fouls uh, here in the second half. Uh, we had five total fouls in the first two minutes of this game in the first half. Defensively, things are, um, are really starting to... Uh, to, to open up, uh, both teams are finding some gaps and opportunities. Matt Jarima will check back into the game for Midland High. Trevor Davis is just a junior, and he's one of two. That trip on the free throw line. Davis with 15 points. Dow High leading by four. Inside of Virgil Walker, feeds it to Jerima, who will be fouled. All kinds of bodies underneath. No doubt Jerima was going to make contact with somebody as he attempted the, uh, the shot. Very unselfish pass, but I think Kraus really wanted Walker to put the ball up. I mean, Walker was right in front of the, the basket, and Jerima was a little bit more in, in congestion. So Matt Jerima goes to the free throw line, but misses that first shot. Jarima's a senior. He is six foot five. A key player inside for Midland High, although he has been held in check so far tonight. Jarima hits the second free throw. <laughs> His first point of the contest. 39-36. Dow High by three. Seven minutes to go in the Saginaw Valley game. Davis to Zach Chichester. Chichester needs somebody to bail him out, looking for somebody to throw the ball to. Eventually does. Now Trevor Davis will set up the play. Davis being guarded by DeWilt. Davis over to Chichester. Chichester feeds it to Bunnell. Kyle Bunnell will pull it out. Dow High has held on to the basketball for almost a minute. Inside, now Chichester travels. Well, pretty good possession yeah. for the Chargers. 45 seconds worth, but they didn't get a shot out of it. But equally as impressive was Midland High's defense. I think they kept... Um, Dow High pretty much outside the arc and just couldn't find a, a gap or a lane inside. Inside of Walker, great hesitation, he'll get the bucket and the foul. Great job in the paint for Virgil Walker who is now in double digits. 10 points in the game for Walker and he has got a chance to tie the game up on the free throw line. Chargers are going to bring Logan Daniels and Kevin Murray back into the game. And it's become quite apparent that uh, Virgil Walker is really the key for Midland inside. That they, if they can continue to feed him, I think they're, they're going to be in good shape. And Dow has to continue to feed Rob inside, which they've kind of gotten away from recently. Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. He's happy with the fact that the Midland High Chemics have tied this game up 39 to 39 with 6.05 to play. As you look in at the veteran coach, Eric Krause, talking 
to the uh, Midland High Kimmicks here as Midland High trying to get a little bit of momentum. This may be a game with uh, whatever team has the momentum in the uh, final minutes of this game might be the team that comes away with the W. Yeah, he really could. Uh, I think Eric is just glad that his team has caught up because sometimes you can get, uh, you know, your team can get a preconceived notion of how they think the game is going to go that night just because of an earlier uh, game that they may have had. And uh, maybe they caught Midland High flat-footed, but God, give uh, Dow their credit. They played extremely well defensively, and they've hit some tough shots. Well, the first time these two teams played, Midland High won by 29 points. <laughs> this will not this be one. a 29-point game. It will not be. <laughs> Mark Dickerson on your screen right now, the Dow High Charger coach in his second year, has shuffled the lineup, has uh, went through some adversity to get the Chargers playing better basketball now than what they were a month ago. And hopefully the Chargers will be playing even better basketball for the districts, which will be played here at Dow High coming up the first week in March, or second week in March. March 7th is when they begin. Right now, Trevor Davis working the basketball. Now it's Mike Robb. Robb was quiet in the third quarter. Tries to force it inside, but Peyton DeWilt comes up with a steal. DeWilt to Willis. Laying it in. Midland High has got a lead, and we have got a whistle, and we may have a delay of game warning. No, we've got a timeout. Mark Dickerson got the timeout before the ball was inbounded, so... The Chargers will talk things over. 5.28 to go here in the fourth quarter. Midland High leading 41 to 39. Back and forth we go. And Tom, we mentioned the uh, districts coming up March the 7th is when they begin. They will be played here at Dow High. The Chargers will take on Mount Pleasant in the opening round on Monday. The winner of that game will play Midland on Wednesday. And then the finals will be on the Friday. What is that, March 11th, 10th, 11th, somewhere around okay. there. Okay. Whatever that Friday, Friday is. On Friday. Exactly. Okay. But a great chance to see some great basketball with the uh, Chargers playing host to the boys' district. And, and it's great to see the kind of progress these teams make throughout their season, that even though they come in with uh, records that uh, may not match as good as the top team in the district, but everybody's competitive. So right now we've got uh, Dow High's top scorer is uh, Davis with 15, and uh, Midland High Willis has 14, and Virgil Walker has 11. Inbound pass is going to go out of bounds. Little mix, uh, miscommunication. Not something that you want after a called timeout, but nonetheless, that is what happened. Midland High, two-point lead. Still a lot of time to play in this game, five and a half minutes. Martin Money working the ball. Peyton D. Well, three-pointer count it. That momentum shift is beginning to go back in the favor of the Midland High Chemics, and we have a, uh, we're going to have a delay. Now, I don't know if our mic picked it up or not, but a delay of game warning against Midland High, and Eric Krause telling his team, don't touch that basketball. Chargers, long inbound pass, Matt Jarimo with the interception. Garrett Willis! Finishing the play, Mark Dickerson needs a timeout. Midland with the momentum, and Midland leading 46 to 39. This is a good timeout. I mean, there's a lot of game left, but Midland High has really started to uh, uh, get a feel for their, their press, their overplaying passing lanes, and Dow's trying to beat it with a long, high pass, and uh, that's dangerous. Yes, the, uh, the tumblers, they are moving so quickly. The cheerleaders working hard on the court, entertaining the fans. Some 
flip, I tell you, Tom, I, I cannot flip like that. I don't know how they can walk straight after <laughs> they have flipped, uh, you know, five or six times. You, you and me both. I mean, I'd be so surprised if I, I made it over once. I tell you, the, the <laughs> we've, we've, got a, we've got a great camera crew, but the, uh, the, the flipping is so fast, they can't even get it on camera. Oh, my God. Uh, what, did we have a problem to, over here? We've got a girl that uh, may have fainted, maybe. Five oh seven to go here in the fourth quarter. It is forty-six to thirty-nine in favor of the Midland High Chemex, and we've got a, a little bit of a delay on the uh, basketball court right now because while We've got a, a little bit of a delay, something that we do not have on camera, but we have an uh, a accident that happened off camera involving one of the uh, Dow High cheerleaders, so we are not going to show that. Instead, we're going to let you know about the upcoming MCTV workshop, February 13th and then March the 12th, two different chances to become an MCTV volunteer. It starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. At the MCTV studio, the cost is $45, which includes the first year access user fee. For more information, call 837-3474. And the round of applause is for the Dow High uh, cheerleader that fell while the cheerleaders were performing their stunt during that timeout. We were watching the flipping cheerleaders doing backflips across the floor and there was a unfortunate accident over on the sideline with one of the uh, Dow High cheerleaders so we wish her the absolute best as the trainers will look at her and we will go back to basketball with Midland High leading 46 to 39. Trevor Davis working for the Dow High Chargers. Back Chichester. Now feeds it over to Logan Daniels. Who goes to Mike Robb. Robb with the basketball for the Dow High Chargers. Logan Daniels with the ball. Midland playing great defense. Not allowing the Chargers to get anything going. The extended timeout giving both of these teams a, a chance to catch their breath. It also may have interrupted Midland's momentum. Chichester loses the handle on the basketball. Over and back, great defense played by Midland High. Yeah, Dow High just couldn't get inside the three-second area at all. Midland is really playing lockdown defense right now and had a great time of the, of the game for them. 46 to 39 is where we stand score-wise. Just a little over four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Both of these teams looking for a win, looking for momentum with about a month left in the basketball season. And a turnover there, Davis comes up, gives it to Mike Robb. Robb one-on-one, -on -one, too hard, and a rebounding foul is going to be called against Murray. That foul is only the fifth foul, and it is the second one on Kevin Murray. And Eric Krause is going to call a timeout for the Midland High Chemics. Both of these teams, you know, you, you've got them, you might as well use them at this point in the contest. 3.50 to go, and it is 46 to 39. The score has not changed as the coaches begin uh, their job of coaching the, the final minutes of this contest. Yeah, and uh, I think that uh, beginning of the game, we thought that uh, this game was gonna be so, so aggressive that we'd have some people uh, battling foul trouble at this point and uh, going to the line shooting two uh, but we may not get into uh, 
uh, the double bonus uh, very quickly uh, into this game. It may be under a minute before we get to that point. I don't think we are going to uh, see the double bonus unless we get to a, a point in the game where a team has to foul to, uh, to try to come away. Yeah. Or just try to stop the clock. Exactly. The Midland High Chemex will inbound. The Dow High Chargers waiting until that second horn to break the huddle. Peyton D. Wilt will dribble the basketball up for the Kimmick. Virgil Walker being double teamed. Finds D. Wilt, long three-pointer. No good. Mike Robb will have the rebound for the Chargers. Still a lot of time to play. Three and a half minutes to decide this contest. Six-point Midland High lead. Trevor Davis working the basketball. This is really an important possession for Dow. They, they need to find some kind of points on this possession. Davis was du double team, but Chichester over to Rob. Now back to Davis, open lane. He's double teamed, and a foul is going to be called. Trevor Davis read that well and went up, just hoping that one of the two defenders was going to uh, make some contact with him. Well, he had Rob to his right, and I think he was hoping that Virgil Walker would come in and uh, try to defend him. He could drop it off to Rob, but Virgil kept his ground, and uh, Davis just had to kind of force it up. That's the third foul. They're going to call that on Matt Jarima, so that is Jarima's third. There's a, the floor a little bit on the uh, wet side, so wet landing that's part of the uh, you know three minutes to go in the game yeah, you've, you've got some players that uh, have played hard Davis able to get the first free throw to fall 16 for Davis he leads down second one falls as well he's been pretty steady tonight 46 to 41. Midland High working over to Willis. Gives it inside to Walker. Virgil Walker with the bucket for the Kimmich. Seven point lead for Midland High. 13 for Walker. Davis, we're going to have a kick ball so the Chargers will reset their offense. Two and a half minutes to play, and now we're getting to that point where the Chargers need to make every possession count. At least uh, get a point somewhere along the way because uh, they can't afford to have Midland extend this seven-point lead at this stage of the game. A foul is going to be called on D. Will, who made contact with Kyle Bennell as Bennell tried to catch the ball. Eric Krause wanted a travel call, but is not going to get it. Each team with five fouls, so each team's got one foul to give. Mike Robb with the basketball now to Davis. Davis, spin move into the paint. Good move by Davis, count it. Trevor Davis making it look easy. Pulling the Chargers within five. 48-43 Midland, 2.15 to go. 19 for Davis. Walker called for the charge. Virgil Walker picking up his second foul. What a game. This has been fun from the beginning to the end. This has been some fun basketball to watch. You know, you, you've had a, a lot of really good, good athletes play quite well here. Davis with the basketball. Picked up the dribble. Now finds Mike Robb. Robb has been quiet. He works the baseline. Now to Zach Chichester. Under two minutes to go. Five point game. Davis, another nice spin move. Great bounce pass by Davis. But the bucket no good by Murray. Rebound put back out of bounds. Midland basketball. Great defensive play. 
I think Rob thought that he had been uh, fouled. Midland High is going to call a timeout. Eric Krause will talk things over. Midland High will have two timeouts remaining. Dow High has got one timeout remaining. We've got 140 to go in the contest. It is 48 to 43 in favor of the Midland High Kimmich. Well, we mentioned this is great basketball, and if you are just tuning in and you want to see this game in its entirety, it will air on MCTV, channel 189 on Charter, or channel 99 on AT&T Universe, Saturday and Sunday, February 6th and 7th, 8 o'clock in the morning, and then again 8 o'clock at night. And then next week you can catch this game on MPS Television, channel 190. It will also be available in a couple of weeks on the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel as well. So a lot of different ways to catch the action of this basketball game between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. And you should because this has been a dandy. It has really been a good game. I think both coaches uh, have been pleased with a lot of aspects of each each of their team's games, but uh, right now Midland High certainly does have the advantage. They've got the ball and the lead. Uh, Dow's got to uh, make sure that Midland High just doesn't burn off an awful lot of time and that they don't increase the lead. Dow High came in heavy underdogs. Right now they're only down by five, but it's Midland with the basketball. Jarima being double teamed, no place to go. Chargers forcing the turnover. Kyle Bunnell working ahead to Rob, all by himself. Rob getting the bucket for the Chargers. It is a three-point game. Rob has got 11. Midland 48, Dow 45, just over a minute. Peyton DeWell to Jarima. Jarima will be fouled. Rob had the block, but the foul came before the block. Zach Chichester got a part of the body that is what drew the foul and Matt Jarima will go to the free throw line I think Rob thought that the foul was on him and uh, he had a good block on that one it was third foul on Chichester Matt Jarima gets the free throw to fall it's been loud it has been loud here at Dow High all night long, and it is getting louder down the stretch. Jarima hitting both of his free throws. Derek Cushman is going to check in for the Chargers to add more three-point range and more shooting for Dow High. Five-point Midland High lead, 104 to play. Kyle Bunnell working the ball for the Chargers. Bunnell working over into the corner, and Henshaw will be called with the foul, and Derek Cushman will have three free throws for the Chargers. And that is five on Henshaw. So the first player to foul out happens to be the senior, Josh Henschel, who heads to the bench. Martin Money will come into the game. Meanwhile, Derek Cushman is on the free throw line. You know, Derek's a good shooter, but he just came onto the court, and I just don't see that you have to guard somebody that's cold off the bench uh, th that closely. Cushman May have came off the bench, but he is far from uh, far from being cold. <laughs> well, these are free throws they work on all the time. I jinxed him, but Rob gets the rebound. Dow will keep the basketball. Rob came from the top of the key to steal that rebound. Very smart play. Three-point game. Dow has got the basketball. 54 seconds to play. Inbound pass to Chichester, to Bunnell, wide open, three-pointer, we're tied up! <laughs> Kyle Bunnell with the three! We're tied, 35 seconds to go! 
Midland High can wait for the last shot if they choose to. You know, we never saw this coming, but boy, hats off to Dow tonight. Uh, they have played inspired well, ball. Will the Kimmicks win at the buzzer, or do we have overtime coming up? The clock is down to 10 seconds. And now, a timeout called by Eric Kraus. But Kraus is saying he never called a timeout. Kraus is questioning, and now some miscommunication. You know, coaches and officials do a lot of talking of, if this happens, I want a timeout. If this happens, and I think there may have been some miscommunication. But Midland High will be charged with the timeout. It's a 30-second timeout. 9.6 seconds to go. Well, it I, is 50 to 50. In that situation, they are, the referee is almost waiting for the coach behind them to call a timeout because they do want to script something rather than just helter-skelter, run someone in the middle, hope they get fouled to win the game. But uh, they want to script something right now, uh, possibly to get the ball in to Walker in front of the basket, something along that line, draw a foul. Well, here's, here's the question, Tom. Do you go for Virgil Walker underneath? Do you go for Peyton D. Welch on the perimeter? I'd go with Walker underneath. Uh, all they need is a free, uh, free throw. We have got ourselves set up. It's either going to be a Midland win at the buzzer or overtime here at Dow High. 9.6 to go. Peyton D. Welch into the paint. D. Welch forces the shot up. No good. Chase just the rebound. The outlet pass will be ran down by Cam Wing, and we are headed to OT. <laughs> wow, what a game, what a game. Overtime in high school basketball, four minutes long. Tom, I will be the first to admit, this is not what I had predicted tonight. Well, you know, they don't play these games on paper. They play them for real. And uh, this is quite a testament to what uh, these t both these teams play when the games mean so much, uh, pride-wise, as far as being from the same city of Midland. And uh, they, they know each other so well. Um, you know, it's almost making the uh, other game that they played uh, somewhat meaningless. Well, there you see the Dow High student section. The Midland High student section was rocking the bleachers a few moments ago. The students are full force into this contest. Now everybody's going to take a step back, Tom, because we've got four minutes of overtime. You can't go full force. You can't go guns a blazing. You've got four minutes. That is a lot of basketball to be played. But everybody carries in the, the number of game fouls. So I, I don't think uh, other than Henschel, who has just fouled out, that anybody's in real serious foul trouble. Each team gets one more timeout. So the Chargers have two timeouts. I believe Midland has two timeouts as well. Martin Money with the ball for the Kimmich. Inside to Walker. Shot by Garrett Willis, no good. Walker gets the rebound. Put back attempt, count it. Virgil Walker is having a great game. Walker, 15 points for Midland. The Kimmicks leading 52 to 50. We're in overtime, three and a half minutes to play. Davis works the ball. Now to Logan Daniels, back to Davis. They go inside to Rob. Rob works it back over to Daniels. Daniels loses the dribble. Virgil Walker coming up with a steal. And Walker will be fouled by Rob. May have fouled him going up, but uh, blocked the shot. That's yeah, the, that was a foul. That's the third foul on Rob, and it will put Virgil Walker on the free throw line for Midland. You had two wide receivers both defending each other.
Walker gets a friendly roll. 16 for Walker. Kyle Bennell has checked back in for the Chargers. Willis has 18, Walker has 16, DeWilt has 12 for Midland High. Walker hitting both of the free throws. Midland leading by four, and Peyton DeWilt coming up with a steal. DeWilt. Now it's Martin Money inside to Walker, back to DeWilt. To Walker, three minutes to play in overtime. The Chemics leading by four. Jerima to DeWilt, inside to Walker, back to DeWilt. Kimmich, DeWilt, count the bucket. A great possession for the Midland High Kimmich. DeWilt's got 14 points, and Midland's got a six-point lead. Mark Dickerson wants a timeout. If the momentum was on Dow High's side at the end of the regulation, it is now... On Midland High side, the Kimmicks leading by six, and Mark Dickerson calls a timeout. And you know, Mark Dickerson called a good timeout uh, with about two and a half minutes to go in regulation. He calmed his team down, and uh, they got right back into it. I, I think that Dickerson's hoping that he can create the same magic. Eric Krause talking to his players. On your screen right now, the veteran coach. And let's not forget, there were several years, a lot of years, that Mark Dickerson was standing side by side with Eric Krause during these timeouts. Mark Dickerson was a Midland High assistant coach for several years before becoming the coach here at Dow High. They know each other. Yeah, but I think Mark uh, carried an awful lot of stuff, uh, plays and uh, patterns with him that... Uh, he didn't have a chance to use under Krause's system. So uh, he, he's kind of created a, a brand new uh, uh, brand, so to speak, uh, for Dow High. But yeah, they know each other very well. Two and a half minutes to play here in overtime. Davis with the ball for the Chargers. Now a wide open, Mike Robb with a three-pointer, no good. Virgil Walker will get the rebound. Walker double teamed, able to find the outlet pass to DeWilt. DeWilt very heady, he came back to help Walker uh, to break pressure. Almost a miscommunication there, but the Kimmicks recover. Two minutes to play. Midland High leading by six. Inside to Jerima, double teamed, and Eric Kraus will call a timeout. He's not happy. Eric Kraus is uh, all the way on the floor to let Willis and Jerima know that uh, and he's not happy about something. Eric Kraus, one of the best coaches in the Saginaw Valley, but right now he does not like uh, something that Garrett Willis, who has played great tonight, was doing. You talk about emotion, that, my friend, is emotion. That's emotion. I think he was upset because they were so close together and they weren't helping each other out. You really had to spread them out to uh, kind of eliminate that double or triple team in the corner. And that's what was giving Jarima so much trouble. They had to have a little better spacing. Each team has one timeout remaining. The coaches drawing up the plays. The students rocking the bleachers. And don't forget, in addition to this great game airing this weekend, girls basketball airing this weekend as well here on MCTV. And both teams uh, find themselves towards the top of the Saginaw Valley standings. Both looking kind of up to Saginaw Heritage, but uh, looking forward to, uh, yeah, both teams are looking forward to a big win tomorrow night. Midland High to inbound, the Kimmicks leading by six. Virgil Walker with the basketball, 1.45 to go in overtime. Walker working over to Money. Martin Money back inside to Walker, now to Peyton DeWilt. How long do you wait before you foul if you're the Chargers? You almost have to do it as soon as No, you possible. don't have to now because they're going to force, almost force the turnover, but Matt Jarema escapes with the ball. Martin Money will be fouled. 
Money will go to the free throw line. Chargers almost had the steal. They couldn't hold on to the basketball. Midland got it back, and now Money will be on the free throw line. That was big. That was very big. Now Dow, uh, the only way Dow can get back into it uh, is uh, by the free throw line or looking to hit some threes. The Chargers have not scored in overtime. And that's Money's first, yeah, Money's played okay, but that's his first point of the night. Money, now they're gonna wave it off. They're gonna say that the Chemics were over the line. So no, no basket. Lane violation against Midland High. It is a seven point contest, 57 to 50, 120 to play. Dow's gotta score some points in a hurry if they wanna pull off the upset here at home. They forced overtime, but they have yet to score here in OT. Davis with the basketball, fires up an off balance three pointer. He wanted the foul called, almost kind of forced things around and Midland High will have the basketball. Well, they knew they had to have a three, and uh, he, he did kind of force that one. But uh, Great defense by Midland. Under a minute to go, and a foul is going to be, no, a travel call against Midland. 58 seconds on the clock. Derek Cushman is going to come into the game for the Chargers. Well, he hit th uh, two big free throws uh, towards the end of regulation. Now the Chargers need to score in a hurry, but Midland has played great defense here in overtime. Davis to Bunnell. Dow High can't hesitate. Clock down to 45. They're down by seven. Inside of Mike Robb. Robb drives to the basket. He Was he traveled or was he fouled? He was fouled. Robb will go to the free throw line. Okay. Eric Kraus does not agree. I thought he traveled going into the lane. I thought he took one extra step, but uh, you got three officials that are saying no. So we go with that. Mike Robb on the free throw line. First free throw falls through. It has been a physical contest since the opening tip off. It has remained physical here into overtime. But that is Dow's first point of overtime. Mike Robb will be going to college at Grand Valley State, laying some football in the fall. Right now, basketball is on his mind, and Robb hits both of the free throws. But it's a five-point game. Dow will have to foul if they want any chance, and there's a hard foul by Chichester. I think uh, Virgil Walker put a little bit of a selling job on that. I, I, don't, I don't think the foul was as hard as... Uh, Walker wanted us to think it was. Yeah, it might have lost his balance a little bit. I don't think there was that much of a collision. But that's Chichester's fifth foul, and that's going to hurt them. Uh, he, he's played a good game. Zach Chichester fouling out for the Dow High Chargers. And he eight, is just a sophomore. Eight points for Chichester. Virgil Walker is on the free throw line for Midland High. And he's able to hit the free throw. Midland High may have a little more experience playing close games, playing overtime games, and that little veteran edge may have helped the Chemics here in OT. Virgil Walker hitting both of the free throws. The extra frame has been the Virgil Walker show, I think. What a game for Walker. Davis launching a three-pointer. Under 30 seconds to go, the ball goes out of bounds. Dow will have it. But I think time may be on the side of Midland High. Yeah, I, I, Dow is really going to have to pull a rabbit out of the hat here. Uh, down by seven with under 30 seconds to go. Chargers will inbound the ball to Mike Robb. Robb. 
into the paint, has the ball stripped away. Martin Money coming up with a steal. And then Davis forced to foul immediately. It's going to be a double bonus situation, so Money will have two free throws. Davis, his fourth foul in the game. And Midland High, with 19 seconds to go, Midland High can all but uh, guarantee themselves a win. See, I told you we'd be in the double bonus before the game was over. <laughs> it just took overtime, that's all. And again, we've got uh, some moisture on the floor, so. Well, yes. I think if Dow had any chance at all, it, uh, become, it's now very, very dim with that steal. I'll give the Midland High Kimmicks a lot of credit that once that game went into overtime, Midland came out in that extra period a little more poised, a little more of that veteran experience, and the Midland High Kimmick defense limiting Dow High to two points in overtime, and they were both on free throws. Yeah. That is a great defensive showing, and Martin Money may have just sealed the deal for the Midland High Kimmicks. 15 seconds to go. Midland does not have to foul. Davis forcing up a three-pointer. Peyton DeWilt with the rebound, and now Dow High will foul. Although everything uh, from this point on is uh, just to put some statistics in the book. The student section for Midland High will celebrate, but Midland High had to work incredibly hard to pick up this win here tonight. They had their hands full tonight, and uh, credit Dow High for their effort. Uh, they gave them everything they could handle, but uh, this overtime has really belonged to the Chemics. The final score is not going to indicate just how close of a game that we have had because it's an 11-point Midland High lead, which is the biggest lead that anybody has had in this contest. Final seconds winding down. Davis's three-pointer is no good. And the final score is going to read Midland High 62 Dow High, or Midland High 63, Dow High 52. The Chemex did a great job in overtime, did not allow the Chargers to get a field goal in OT. A great defensive effort. The veteran experience for Midland High shined through at the end of the game when they needed to shine through. Yeah, and you could see Midland High just contesting every screen down here that Dow tried to set to get their offense going. And Midland High outscored them 13-2 to in overtime. But uh, being tied 50-50 uh, is, is, is quite a, a, an effort for Dow High, who has uh, really been looking for a game like this to really put a signature on. Well, this may have been the best game that Dow High has played this season. It's been a very tough year for the Dow High Chargers, and they were heavy underdogs going into this game. But they played like they were playing for first place in the Saginaw Valley. They forced overtime. We saw some great basketball tonight. We saw some fun basketball tonight. Well, we did. We saw some great individual uh, efforts uh, for Midland High. We had Walker with 18, uh, Willis with 18, DeWilt with 16, Davis had 19, and uh, we had uh, Chichester with 8, Rob with uh, 13. So, uh, some really good individual performances, but team-wise, I thought they both played very well as units. Uh, and one of the great things that uh, we are witnessing with all the mingling going on on the floor is as hard as this game was and as physical as this game was, now that it's over, we're seeing players from both teams. We saw Peyton D. Wilt and Mike Robb shaking hands. Virgil Walker and Mike Robb, who battled hard against each other all night long, shaking hands at the conclusion of this contest. The, the show of respect from both teams has to be admired. Well, and both teams don't want to fuel something for the tournaments <laughs> either, you know? They're, they're still buddies outside of uh, the basketball court, but they certainly are prideful of what both their teams did tonight. Uh, both Dow and Midland, I think, played very, very well. Now, this was fun, and if you're the Dow High Chargers, I think you're hoping that you can get some momentum going, and you're hoping that maybe a district semifinal rematch will be on the horizon. But that is in the future here. Both teams 
are going to recover from this game and move on. We've got about a month left in the regular season. The Midland High Kimmicks improving to 9-5 and five with the victory. They are 8-3 and three in the Saginaw Valley. The Dow High Chargers dropping down to 2-11 and 11 overall. They are still looking for that first Saginaw Valley win, although they came close tonight, forcing overtime before the poise in the defense of Midland High took over. In a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know any of the player, uh, of the people that you are about to see, if you know Jim, if you know Nina, if you know Dennis, if you know Billy or Matt, if you know uh, us, although you usually don't claim that, but if you do, <laughs> get a chance, tell them thanks for bringing high school sports to your television here on MCTV. Tom, your final thoughts. Uh, good. Great game for the community. I think that uh, everybody walks away feeling pretty good, even though one team won and the other team lost. I think that uh, bo both teams really grew together tonight uh, in some adversity and uh, taking advantage of some uh, great opportunities. Our final score here in overtime, the Midland High Chemics coming away with the victory, 63-52. to For Tom Bell and our entire MCTV crew, my name is Jason Harper. Thanks for watching High School Sports on MCTV.